Hello and welcome to Helios Blog. My name is Helios here for another reaction video. Today, Sneaker vs. Destiny grudge match. Let's get into it. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. All they do is criticize- Sneeko reacts to, tw to his Twitter beef with Destiny. My morality, my decisions, what I- All they do is criticize my morality, my decisions, what I do. So f if you're gonna do that, if you're gonna constantly do that on me, say I'm not gonna be able to get married, say that I'm a fake Muslim, say that I'm, I'm not, I'm drinking, say that I'm a liar, all this stuff. What the f is going on? Lack of frame. People are always going to criticize you. Who cares? Just take it. Take it on the chin. People criticize my videos all the time. They say I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm annoying, and so on. So, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And if you don't like it, leave. What's going on with your life? I, said, I called out Aiden today too. Like, I could be drinking and gambling. I'm in the gym. I'm actually doing the self-improvement thing. I'm actually quitting things. I'm actually praying. Destiny, I'm actually working on becoming the best man I could possibly be so I could raise a family, so I can get married. These things are extremely important to me. So if you're going to criticize that, what the f are you doing? What else is going on? Yeah, so there's... I, the issue with like, and I understand what... Uh, oh, hold on, I'm trying to treat him like this is an intellectual argument and not just like an emotional outburst. But the... Um, That's right. It's just an emotional outburst. The, I think the reason why uh, I'm so critical of Sneeko is because he uses and abuses the people in his life and then he does it in like haram ways because he just wants credit so for instance um sneeko wants to get all the credit from being muslim he wants to get all the social validation and all that from being pure and chaste and holy or whatever why does he still have girls on his stream why is he in the background with two girls laying on him making out the answer is because he still desperately craves that validation that he gets from other men when women are validating him in the space right that yeah sure okay agreed right you don't need to do that. There's no point. If you really truly believed about the Muslim, if you really truly believe about like that, why why the f are you why are you sh trying to show off women? That's not. It's true. Is it halal? And uh, yeah, no, absolutely true. That's not holy. That's not chaste. That's not good, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just like. Like, if somebody makes mistakes, like, here's something that I... So, this is what I don't like. Here's what I don't give Sneeko for. And I've heard these rumors a lot. And apparently, Aiden repeats them. I hear a lot that Sneeko gets caught slipping when he's out, when he's, like, drinking and I don't know if that's true or not. Um, but also, like, if he legitimately, like, makes a mistake and has a drink and he's off stream or something, you know what? Nobody's perfect. I wouldn't expect Sneeko to be perfect. The issue I have is when he's desperately trying to collect social clout from both sides of an issue. You can't... Yeah, that's uh, Machiavellian, right? Playing both sides. But um, truth be told, I mean, Sneeko is that type of person, right? He seems to go wherever the wind blows like a, like a leaf. He, ha he doesn't actually have a side. He just takes whatever side gives him the most views. So he's... Um, I forgot what, what the, the term is for people like this. Like uh, BPD, like borderline personality disorder, where you don't really have your own identity, you just take whatever identity is, is close by. Yeah, anyway, let's do the shilling. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit all the notifications, drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian o, and Tom M. Buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios Books. Shoutouts to Curry Kid, last person to buy a strategist guide to seduction. I really do appreciate it. Go to my Patreon and subscribe, patreon.com slash the Helios blog. And of course, uh, if you want to sub to me on the podcast, uh, it's just in the description of the of the podcast, the the written description. Just go to support the show. You'll see a Buzzsprout link there. Also, share this video. All right, let's continue. Can't do that, and I don't think anybody should abide that. I think you should be called out for that. If you want to be Muslim and you want to be holy and not haram and all that, um, then fine. But don't brag or show off. Um, don't brag or show off like girls on your stream. The irony is this. If he is really a true Muslim, why is he even doing like an attention-seeking career like being a streamer, right? That's that's my question. Like that's not, that's haram. That's not good. Um, yeah, it's just not good. And then having friends close by in your life who are also doing that 
like having Zerka, like trashing women in front of you and all that. That's another thing that will always bother me so much. Birds of a feather flock together. Much, so much, so much, so much, so much. And again, um, no, hold on, sorry. I was gonna qualify that. I won't qualify that. A good conservative man, uh, Melina actually said this perfectly to the MLD guy. Hey, you said you're a high value man. Why are you on women? Why are you calling women fat? If you're a good conservative man, you respect women, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't be in the presence of somebody. You wouldn't have a close friend like that who's just constantly degrading and screaming at women and calling them whores. Except Sneeko doesn't care about who he associates with so long as he gets clout, success, views, likes, etc. It's more about that than it is about truly being what he says he is. Because really, what is he at the core? He is an entertainer. He is a person that, you know, talks to a camera for money. So that's going to come before everything. So if he has to say that he is one thing to get the results that he wants, that's what he's going to do. Because Sneeko's not, you know, he's not, he doesn't walk the walk. He only talks the talk. And it's funny that he has an emotional outburst to explain how he's a strong man. That's obviously hilarious, right? Because the, the actions contradict the words. And as you all know, I've said it many times, the medium is the message. And joking about 15 year olds and 16 year olds constantly doing that over and over and over. Now, let me, let me not give Destiny such credit, okay? He literally is in an open marriage. That's a joke. So his wife is, is sleeping with other men. So his wife is the type of person, the type of girl that is so, that lacks pair bonding to such an extent that she's able to sleep with multiple other men. She doesn't respect her husband. So Destiny is not exactly, uh, you know, he's not exactly a, uh, a spring chicken or um, what's it called he doesn't come out with no egg on his face either but you know so it goes let's continue over and over again without ever calling him out or holding him to task and he doesn't a sneaker well sneaker will never call zerka out because zerka is the strong man in the room that he's looking to emulate that he's like imprinted on right now well that's not that's not why actually the reason why sneaker can't call zerka out and i i was I was watching uh, Sneeko and Zerka, you know, giving um, the, the PUA advice. The reason why I can't call him out is the following. Zerka is the person of the day right now. If he calls him out, Zerka is just going to leave and Sneeko is going to lose the views on his stream that he would have gotten by associating with him. So he has to appear agreeable to him, whether he agrees with him or not, right? Because Sneeko is not about what he says he's about. He's actually about making money. And what that actually does is it undermines anything he says to his audience. Because he doesn't actually live by what he says. All right, let's continue. But, like, why would you let him get away with that over and over and over again? Um, I don't know why. Yeah, well, I know why. And the reason why is because, like, there's not very much conviction behind this particular belief system. But... Right. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not, ta I'm not really... I guess he... I guess it's a weird thing. Um, I guess it's a weird thing that Sneeko feels like I'm calling out his like personal or private life. But I mean, I Andrew did it. So Sneeko does it. Zerka did it. So Sneeko does it. Wherever the wind blows, the leaf goes. I'm not really. These are just like the things that you're showing on stream. There are so many things. If I wanted to so the same thing that I said about how Hassan is an NPC, Sneeko is a leaf. He goes wherever the wind blows. Dig into private relationships, then I would start bringing up all the private that I'm aware of. Um, but I don't do that because I don't think that that's necessarily fair game. But like one thing, for instance, um, like I guess I'll do this. Like for the Lauren, um, the frustrating thing about Lauren coming out at Xena and then leaking that story that Xena said was fake about like Lauren hearing Xena crying and blah, blah, blah. I know for a fact that story was not fake because I know that Xena's done that at least three other times. And I know at least two other people who have witnessed it. So I know for a fact that story was real. Uh, now I didn't say anything at the time because it's not my place to get involved in like that personal sh because I'm not like in the business of like slinging your personal life. But Except you kind of are 
with this video, that's what you're doing. You're literally attacking Sneeko's character, but you're not doing it in an ad hominem way. You're not just saying Sneeko's a loser and not backing it up with anything. You're saying Sneeko is a loser and here's why. And then listing all of these things that he does that contradict his own character, right? Or what he, he purports his own character uh, he purports his own character to be right so there you go let's continue but i mean like if we want to go like really personal we can you can bring up my kid all you want and you can bring up my status all you want my life is totally open my life is super open right when zerka referenced that uh never mind there's like i know so much right if you want to like try to dig out like the same two personal attacks people have been using for five years like go for it um but your life is way more secret now Here's the issue. This is the issue. There's another thing that's hard for people to understand, okay? Ordinarily, I don't care if your life is more secretive and my life is more public. The issue is, I generally don't come out with moral judgments for how people want to live a lifestyle. If some dude says, hey, I'm a I like watching my you know, wife get by other people, fine, go for it. Hey, as long as you don't hurt anybody makes you happy, go for it. If some other dude is like, hey, uh, I'm, uh, you know, I want to have four wives and I, you know, I'll treat them with respect or blah, 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 and this is Okay, fine. I think it's kind of weird. I don't know if I necessarily, but fine, go for it. You know, if uh, if Myron, you know, or uh, Alex from whatever playing with fire, you know, it's like I do one sided open relationships. I think personally, one sided open relationships, I think they're pretty cringe. I feel like the people in them don't have much self respect. That's just my feeling. But hey, listen, you know, if you want to do it, if everybody consents to it, and I've said that a lot with Myron, I don't like the way that Myron necessarily approaches women, but he's he's open about it and he's honest about it. If he wants to do it, go for it, you know. So if if you want to do your lifestyle, go for it. That's the difference, though, between me and Sneeko, is Sneeko is coming out with this heavy-handed moral judgment. Your lifestyle is wrong. My lifestyle is right. So it's funny because Sneeko keeps attacking me, saying that I'm trying to morally grandstand when I'm not. I'm usually looking for very basic things, like, is somebody being harmed here? And if you're not, there's no harm. I'm generally like, pretty, like, yeah, you know, live and let live. Sneeko's the one that's coming out here saying, like, oh, you're not allowed to do that, or this is unethical, or you're just... Yeah, this is classic... Uh... Actually, Des Destiny is a very, very good um, debater, and you, you, you can't really argue that. Like, he is a superior debater to, to most of the people in, in, the, in the sphere, and he's using it to his great advantage to get views like even me. Like, I don't really give a crap about Destiny, but because he's, you know, because he's going after, so to speak, the the manosphere here i am right uh commenting on it so that's just how it is so he's doing a great job at at that all right let's continue destroying the world and blah 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 so yeah so if that's the case if that if that's the case that i'm the one who's pretty chill and you're the one with the moral judgments if anything you should have more of an open life than i should because I'm willing to respect people's privacies and let people live the lives they live. If you're the one who wants to make the moral judgments, we should be talking about your personal life. How do you treat your girlfriends? How do you treat your personal relationships? Because I happen to know personally that they're a disaster. Um, all of them are. And everybody behind the scenes knows that. Everybody that, goes to, um, everybody that goes to yeah. the after show dinners knows that. Everybody that's like been friends with him or people in his life knows that. It's, it's like an open secret. Everybody knows that. But it's very annoying to have Sneeko come Yes, again, even in the the adjacent, or what's it called? Obviously, I'm not fully in the loop with Sneeko's personal life, considering I don't know him personally. But I can tell you that I, I mean, Sneeko literally had a girl C-star CK him, so there's no way that Sneeko's relationships are going well. And we even know why. We know why they're not going well. They're not going well because Sneeko has no frame. Because if he had if he had frame and he was truly a strong man, he wouldn't have these issues. Right? So, all right, let's continue. Come out and like fight at me like, didn't you abandon your son? Or you doesn't your wife that Like, yeah, I mean like, you can say the same two things over and over again, but you're the one that's morally grandstanding. And like, if we were to start- See, De Destiny is, uh, he is also admitting, it's funny that he, he says that what, what he's done is not bad, and, and it is. Why would you ever marry a girl who sleeps with other men? I, I don't know. Like, if you're going to do an open relationship, it needs to be one-sided open. Otherwise, just do a regular monogamous relationship. You'll have better outcomes. This way is very bad. 
for you as the man. Like, sure, you, you get to sleep with girls once in a while, but her sleeping with other men means that she doesn't respect you. And she's showing you how many times she doesn't respect you every time she does it, right? She shows you how much, like that's, that's a relationship headed for disaster. Like you might as well have had a traditional one because this will not work in the long term. All right, let's continue. Start digging out your like, bro, it would be over. <laughs> I mean, like, it would be game over. Like, people already have, like, might only dug it out. So, yeah, I don't know. That's, I guess, like, that's my, that's, like, the irritating thing for me. And then he's acting like, oh, Destiny's morally grandstanding. I'm not morally grandstanding. I just think, like, some of the things you do are a little shitty. But, like, I'm not even, like, necessarily opposed to your lifestyle. Like, again, if Muslims want to have four wives, personally, I think it's kind of weird. But, I mean, it can be done. And as long as everybody consents to it, fine, you know? It's been, like, back and forth with um, drama with Destiny on Twitter. And it's been, uh, so okay, I, I wanna pull it up and, and show you guys what's going on because I think, I wanna know if you guys think I, I made it too personal, but I, I will explain to you the justification why. Other people, especially like the leftists, they'll always play the moral high ground thing because that's what leftism is. It's thinking that they're better. And then this too, and now he like, now he webs to reinforce like the, cause he doesn't really have ideas about me or he's scared to engage with what I say or he can't. I might like intellectually be at a level that he like can't access, right? So now it's just like, Destiny, uh, left, leftist, leftists. Leftists think this thing and it's really bad. And um, here are the things that the leftists think. And I think that leftists are bad and dumb. And because leftists think, and it's like, okay. He like switch, he's like looking for like the program to run. And it's like, Destiny, uh, uh, le oh, leftist, progressive, leftist, progressive, bad. W E F, bad. Insects, bad. W, like, yeah, it's just like, okay. Obviously. Now, here's the thing. And this is actually an interesting point. Destiny doesn't hold all of the leftist beliefs. He holds some of them, but not all of them. And here's how you can tell. He does actually make a lot of money. He is quite successful. He is quite disagreeable, right? He does have many of the qualities that you need to be a strong man. He even has the quality of, I don't care if you're against me, I'm going to hold my point of view. That's called having frame. He has that. He has that in spades. And that, that those are actually masculine traits. The thing where he goes wrong is his relationship strategy, right? He chose to marry a girl who sleeps with other men. And we know that. And even Destiny at some point will probably admit that that was a mistake, right? If you want to sleep with other girls, then she should be a friends with benefits and just sleep with multiple girls. That's fine. Or you could do the old school nine, 1950s method, right? And we all know what that is. Um, you have like a primary girl and a girl on the side kind of thing. But of course, the only men that can have that is men that have high value, right? Men, men that are making lots of money. Um, yeah, anyway. Well, I mean, it's not, it's not technically true, but you'll cause gigantic relationship instability. So... There it is. All right, let's continue. Than other people because they're more empathetic. They're more moral. You guys know what I'm talking about? Have you noticed that with, like, with the climate change, people who glued... Like, when do I ever argue that I'm more moral? I, like, I don't know. Again, I guess, like, if you if you want to get reduction, as I say, like, all, all things are morality. I mean, I, I guess we could... If you want to go really hard, we could say that, but... Dumb. He says moral high ground because your criticism is a moral position aren't sincere, right? Um, yeah, no, I'm not going to grant that. If you want to say that, that's like, that's, no, that's, if you think that, you're, but I know you're like, have a conservative brain, so maybe. But um, when somebody says moral high ground or moral grandstanding, um, generally what they're saying is that your behavior is reprehensible and they're more moral in that regard than you. Um, yeah, it's it's very funny. If Sneeko makes a moral argument, then why is he out here uh, drinking, doing illicit substances, sleeping with multiple girls as a Muslim? Like, obviously, that's hilarious. <laughs> like, that's hilariously wrong. Um, yeah, he's, he's, you know, in name only, right? And, again, why is he doing it? He's doing it for the purposes of making money. So he is actually extremely American in, uh, in this because he doesn't care about you. 
He doesn't care about you learning. He doesn't care about appearing moral. He doesn't care about living a good moral life. What he cares about is money. And he'll say whatever it takes to get that money. Wherever the leaf, uh, wherever the wind blows the leaf, the leaf will go. Meanwhile, Destiny, he has his own stance. It's wrong, right, in a lot of things. But in some things, it's right. And no matter what you say or do, he's not changing his stance. That's Destiny's stance. All right, let's continue. Why is this hard to focus my camera? So, like, an example of, like, moral grandstanding might be, like, um, I pay my employees way more than you do, right? Um, that may be an example of, like, moral grandstanding. But I don't think, like, criticizing somebody's ideology. Okay, I think close enough. Counts as, like, moral grandstanding. <clears throat> Nick also does this to you? Well, yeah, sure. I'm sure that it's probably, um, I think Nick and um, Nick and Zerka are probably like whispering a lot of things in Sneeko's ear. So right now what I'm hearing is, um, right now what I'm getting a lot of is it's probably a lot of things that, um, that Nick Fuentes and Zerka have whispered to him. And now he's kind of like repeating them because now he's, you know. Their hands to the street and then you have the police come and have to peel it off. How dare you? That's leftism. How dare you? How dare you not think exactly like me? Throws paint on a statue. Like, it's so funny. He says, how dare you not think exactly like me? But that's what he thinks, right? If you're not like him, you're immoral. If you lead alternate lifestyles, you're immoral. If you don't, you know, follow the whatever religious creed. I don't even know how he feels about Christians and shit. I'm not sure. But like, it's funny because he's the one that is of the religion that has the moral judgment. <gasps> Wait, I, there's a unique boot that I think I actually need, right? I need to make a video on that. So if you're going to go and say that I'm never going to be able to get married, which is what he's saying, saying that I'm never... I'm not saying... And he doesn't understand. When I say he's not going to be able to get married, I don't know if he understands the attack I'm making on him. The attack that I'm making is that he, he doesn't live a life that comports to the values that he claims to have, that he wants credit for having, and that he seems to be holding other people to. So, for instance, he keeps, he's on this Muslim kick so much, like, oh, but, oh, it's all so good, and blah, 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 despite, I don't even know how much he knows about Islam or any of that. But, like, the reality is, is there are no Muslim fathers that would promise their daughter to a man, you know, that pretends to want to have four wives, is, like, bragging about, like, threesomes and having girls on stream all the time, and, like... That's right, exactly, yeah, it's, he, uh, he's not a traditional man. But he is using it for clout, basically, which is, you know, what is it? Machiavellian at best. On women and calling them all like no, no, like reasonable father of a conservative woman is going to like promise their daughter this guy. Um, th and that's not to, that's not even shitting on him. Like, that's just like, a, I'm just pointing out that like the, you're, you're holding other people to standard that you yourself are horrendously failing to meet. Um, it's not a comparison to myself. I don't know if I don't think any Muslim fathers would want their daughters marrying me um, But Ever gonna be able, like a, no father's ever gonna want to marry his daughter off to me Let's look at you I'm sick of these moral high ground people always talking about how they're superior. All right, fine You're gonna say that uh, Andrew Tate's a human trafficker. You're gonna say that all the people that that I like to do you see the the web thing uh, 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 what else does he, Andrew Tate Andrew Tate, like, what does Andrew Tate have to do with any of this? That's right. What does whether or not he's a trafficker have to do with any of this? Well, like, why even bring that up? Like, what? Speak to, you're going to say that they're bad people. Let's look at you, right? You abandoned your son to play StarCraft in Miami. And so he responded again. Uh, actually, by then, it was a League of Legends, okay? This made him upset because, like, it did pretty well. Uh, he responded again. Thanks, Seeker gave me lots of people, right. right? You abandoned your son to play StarCraft in Miami. And so he responded again, and this made him upset because, like, it did pretty well. Uh, he responded again, thanks, Sneaker gave me lots to think about. Try First of all, none of tweets, none of Sneaker's tweets will make me upset because they don't typically do well. <laughs> um, wait, does anybody have a link to the, uh, to the guy that showed the bots? Um, <clears throat> Sneeko generally, um, is, he's got, like, the griper assist right now. So, um, hold on. Let me see if I can find this video. These are the uh, these are the likes that Sneeko gets on his, <laughs> on his Twitter. 
Bro, I swear to God, I'm like the only person on these platforms that doesn't bot. I think this is why podcasts that I go on do so well. I think I'm like the only person that doesn't have like a botted following, like on any of my platforms. Because why the why would I waste the money on it? But yeah, imagine like, <laughs> bro, this sh wild. <laughs> so basically, he pays for fake accounts to to follow his posts to increase them in the algorithm so that other people click but clearly other people are not clicking interesting it's almost like on a platform where you have to say things that you know you mean something that you have to say something meaningful for people to click hmm. like is this what's upsetting me i appreciate that okay some guy keeps drawing me sneako comments and emailing it to me. <laughs> They're pretty funny. I saw a couple of those. They were kind of. They were pretty funny. And he got pretty mad. You know, he's a smart young man. You know, he's just a little confused. Uh... Pretty funny. Here's the sneako. So basically, whatever anyone says. Oh yeah, he, he just copies them. That's that's yeah. It's literally. It's literally my, my, my. Yeah, and, and it's really funny because um, he just changes his, uh, he changes his look and his appearance and his attitude to match whatever he's copying. Okay, this is, this is funny. This is funny. Okay. Yeah, let's end, uh, let's end the video there. Hit the like, hit the sub. Hit all for notifications, drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian and Tom M. Buy my books at bit.ly slash headiestbooks. Go to my Patreon and subscribe, patreon.com slash theheadiestblog. Shout out to Curry Kid being the last person to buy a strategist guide to seduction. If you want to support me on the podcast, just click the description of the podcast, you know where all the text is, and go to the Buzzsprout link. You just have to open it up and, and scroll down a bit. And... Of course, share this video. Thank you so much for listening, especially if you listen to the end. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.